We're back with a powerful new look at the life and career of Senator John McCain as he battles a life-threatening form of brain cancer. Yeah, there's this, this new documentary out. It's premiering on HBO Monday. It's called John McCain, For Whom the Bell Tolls, a reference to the Ernest Hemingway novel where an underdog takes on a, a dangerous and probably fatal mission out of a deep sense of duty. A description that certainly suits the many battles John McCain has waged in and out of Washington. He has an inner moral compass that I think drives him crazy when he doesn't follow it. The new HBO documentary, John McCain, For Whom the Bell Tolls, takes a look at the final battles of the former naval aviator turned prisoner of war turned maverick senator. This was instilled in him by his father, an admiral, by his grandfather, an admiral, this military code of conduct that uh, he began realizing as a POW in Vietnam and it kind of steered his political course right up until today. Both personal after a diagnosis of terminal brain cancer and political, highlighted by the Republican rush last summer to replace Obamacare that he ultimately doomed with a historic thumbs down vote in this exclusive clip. We tried to do this by coming up with a proposal behind closed doors in consultation with the administration, then springing it on skeptical members, trying to convince them that it's better than nothing. That it's better than nothing? I think the vast majority of Republicans and Democrats know better. They gotta start to stand up and, as John would say, get back to regular order. All regular order means is you introduce a bill, you have hearings, you let the public see what's going on, you show the press, you have witnesses, you have amendments, and you make up your mind. That's how democracy is supposed to work. I will not vote for this bill as it is today. I think the Republicans felt that he had marshaled all his physical strength to come back after the surgery, and that naturally he would vote uh, with the Republican Party, but they totally misread John. He came back for a different reason. He came back to do the right thing and to send a message to his colleagues and to the country. The film takes a warts and all approach to McCain's life, which he insisted on. And he remembers points where he made a mistake, where he let the country down, where he let himself down. He doesn't gloss over that. He wants to talk about it, and he wants to make it right. In what will probably be the closing chapter of his life, McCain remains a fighter, but with wit at the ready. I'll be here for a few days. After that, I'm going home for a while to treat my illness. I have every intention of, re of returning here and giving many of you cause to regret all the nice things you said about me. <laughs> and I hope to impress on you again that it is an honor to serve the American people in your company. Thank you, fellow senators. It, it looks like a fascinating powerful winter. Yeah, and you saw Joe Lieberman there. And, you know, of course, one of John McCain's uh, finest political attributes was his willingness to work across the aisle with Lieberman, whether it's Russ Feingold out of Wisconsin on, on campaign finance reform as well. But the documentary is called John McCain, For Whom the Bell Tolls. It premieres on HBO Monday night. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.